Okay, so you are here because your project is not turning out how you want it to. You're trying to put the finish on it and it is streaky as all get out. And so one thing that we have discovered that helps with this, specifically with water-based stain, not with oil-based stain, um, is we like to use a spray bottle and we'll spray a little bit of water on it and kind of clean it up a little bit. But there is one downside to using this method, which I will talk to you about in a minute. But first off is you need to identify if your stain that you're using is water-based or oil-based. You can look at the front. This one has water-based on the front. This one um, at the very top has some signage that says premium oil. Or on the back, it has oil-based, says oil-based back there. Um, so just make sure before you use this hack that you're using water-based stain because if you use oil-based stain, um, it will not work because we all know water and oil don't mix. So what you're gonna do is, well, first, the reason why we like using water-based stain instead of oil-based stain is because water-based stain avoids having the color turn that yellowy orange hue that is just not cute right now um and a lot of people are trying to stray away from the yellow color when they're getting furniture made or anything like that and so if you're wanting to avoid that try and stick with water-based stain because it's going to stay more true to the color sample that's on the can or that you initially did also, um, one thing that we like to do when we are finishing our pieces is we really like to spray on stain because it helps it kind of distribute the stain a little bit more evenly than it on a rag. And so that is one thing that we really like to do, but with the water-based stain and with how hot it is in Texas right now, it was just drying way too fast. It was streaky and splotchy and all the things. And so that is why we were trying to come up with a way to fix it. We were working really hard on trying to make sure the color ended up really even because it was something we were delivering to somebody the next day. And so it needed to get done. So if you are gluing up large pieces of furniture or just large pieces of wood in general, um, you need to double check that your glue is waterproof. So when we first attempted this, our glue that we used was Type Bond 1, which is not waterproof. So we recommend using something like Type Bond 2 or 3, one of the waterproof versions, because when we got the finish how we wanted it and then we sprayed the clear coat on top, the water in the clear coat caused the glue lines to raise up and it left long, very, very tiny streaks um, on the glue lines, like raised portions that you could see in certain lighting. So like if you like looked at it a certain way and the light was hitting it a certain way, you could see those um, glue lines that were raised up. Um, so we tried to sand down the glue lines and re-spray because we thought that might work. It ended up not working. We tried it a couple times. Every time it just caused the glue line to raise up again. So what we ended up doing was we ended up just coming back with a brand new razor blade and scraping off the glue line so that it wasn't visible and you couldn't feel it anymore. So we really recommend if you are going to try this hack that you double check if your glue is waterproof first. If it's not waterproof, it's not going to damage your piece at all to use this hack. Just keep in mind that anywhere that you have glue pieces together, you might have to come back with a razor blade or if it's going in your house and you're not that much of a perfectionist. It really wasn't a huge deal um, to like leave it if it's going in your house. But again, if you're making it for someone else, you probably want to try and fix it as best you can. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for you and helped you figure out how to fix the streaks in your project or it saves you from doing it in the first place.